Learning to code changed my life. It landed me a job that not only paid my bills, but that I actually enjoyed and finally gave me a proper hobby besides just video games. Knowing that I can create whatever I want gives me a sense of independence. And to be honest, the power of code is endless these days. If you learn to code, I guarantee it will change your life. But most people learn to code the wrong way and so did I. So here's exactly what I would do if I had to start all over again. The biggest mistake you can make is spending all day watching tutorials. So don't spend more than a day or two doing that. You won't learn how to code in a day or a week or even a year you'll never be done if you get me this means that you might as well get going fast and you do this by swapping out the tutorials and guides for a real world project personally i regret spending weeks learning the ins and outs of python before actually making something if i could go back i would spend no more than two days watching tutorials and then move on to my first project i recommend starting out with python and your first project should be a text adventure game this was my first project and it laid the foundation for everything i know now writing a text adventure game in Python is fun because you can make whatever you want, but also easy enough for a beginner. If you've decided to work in some other language, then try making a text adventure game using that instead. You'll not only learn coding, but also design, problem solving, and the general coder mindset. Once you've made some progress with your text adventure game, implement these three features to add some complexity to it. How we implement it is up to you, and you should use tutorials, Google, and ChatGPT to create your masterpiece. Work on this for a week and see how it goes. You'll learn a lot from this, but you've still got ways to go, and by now you deserve to sit back and watch a couple tutorials because it's time to learn git as that is something you're expected to know as a coder git is a difficult to learn but powerful tool that every software developer uses in order to keep track of version history who's done what and when i guarantee you will have to use it if you work in a team or become a professional developer i really encourage you to take this step seriously because you will need it now that you've understood the basics and gained some confidence it's time to make something more impressive you can make whatever you want it's really up to you but if you're struggling for ideas then make a mobile app using Flutter. Flutter is a framework that wraps around a programming language called Dart, which is the next step in the difficulty ladder from Python. It's my favorite way to make mobile apps. Everyone has a phone these days and most of us use it too much, so mobile development is fun and has a lot of business potential. Start off with setting up an environment and an emulator and then follow the tutorial I've linked below. Then create the next Flappy Bird. Jokes aside, try creating something for someone else this time. Figure out a group of people you'd like to help and then figure out their pain points. After that, build an app that solves one of those pain points really well. If you do this step well, by the end of it, you'll be a great coder and also a businessman. Creating and selling an app has tons of potential. You make it just once and then maintain it, and it could sell forever. Personally, I think it's one of the best businesses you can have these days. I hope to make one one day. A mobile app will also be great for your portfolio if you're looking for a job. That concludes what I would do if I had to start over. If you follow every step, you'll be a pretty decent coder and it won't take long. If you found this helpful, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos similar to this one and if you want to watch more videos you can watch this one next thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one